we are going to be learning how to add snow or any type of sediment on top of your PBR material during this video. And you can download in the link below, I have a free material starter that you can use. And this is starting material. I do recommend that you save this starting material and make it as an asset so you can use whenever you need to create some high quality PBR material. So we have here one simple plane, okay, I call it ground, and it has a simple adaptive subdivision 0 0.5. Uh, it would also be fine if you just use the levels of viewport, but if you do that, just come here, subdivide a bunch, and then also add some levels, either on, well, both on viewport and both on render, so you can actually see what is happening. And actually, let's take a look at the material itself. But here you see uh, how I am combining both this snow and this, let's say, first level of material, first layer of the main material. I'll just remove the snow system for now, and you can see here how it is looking. All right. And then basically this mix is done using the displacement, which is really, really nice because then we are going to be using different displacements from different materials to have the snow either being filled up in the cavities of that material or whatever we want, actually. But OK, so let's just take a look here at how we actually use this material. Bas basically here, regular setup. So you have here the base color, roughness, the normal using a mixture between the normal and in the best case would be an actual bump, but this is a displacement. And then the displacement, this add and multiply basically just mimicking this. Okay, it's just mimicking this displacement here. So one is the mid level, the other one is the scale, but here we can just change separately so the first one is the mid level and multiply is the scale but if you want you can just use this one instead it's the same thing this displacement then is going to this smooth maximum uh, node and then a color ramp after i'm going to explain everything so don't worry about that just understand what is happening here and from this we are using that as a factor to show not only in our mix shader, but in our mix that goes to the displacement itself. So it's the same thing for displacement and the mix shader that is telling show texture from the material one or show the texture from material two. And that happens both for the shader itself, but also for the displacement. Okay. And then we have a second material is the same thing as the first one. So just re regular texture, you, you, you know the deal. Um, and then also the same thing here, we have the displacement and the displacement comes here to this smooth maximum, also the color ramp. And this is a, a factor that will be sh saying when we show the displacement of the first or the second. So you see here, the displacement comes here. Okay. And this goes to the mix and also to the smooth maximum. These also go to the mix and also to the smooth maximum. This layer here is basically what we are going to use to say, Whenever the displacement of texture A, let's say, is higher than texture B, show texture A. And whenever it's lower than the threshold, the mid-level, show texture B. You understand that. Let's come here. Let's look at our material. I'm going to preview that, okay? But for that, I'm going to remove the displacement just so you fully understand by just looking at what we are going to preview here. So let's first preview this move maximum. The smooth maximum is basically telling us that whenever the height on material one is above a certain threshold, show that. Whenever it is below, don't show it, but show the one from material two. So you see here material two, how it is. Okay, so I have some black parts here and some white parts here and some gray in between. And then here, let's look at the material one. We have like this gray for the bricks and then this other part is like this neutral gray. And when we look at this smooth maximum, we see here the white part that we saw from the snow. Here the black also that we saw from the snow. Some of the bricks, some of the black from the snow. So basically it's combining both of them. And just so you understand how this works. So this is the mid level. Basically I'm using the same for both because I want them to be, oh, sorry. The snow is a bit, a little bit below, so 0.1. And if you change here the snow, you see that it also changes 
on how our material is behaving towards this. So the mid-level is lower, mid-level is high, so basically the displacement just take over the other displacement. When the mid-level is lower, basically just the brick displacement is taking over this input 0 0.1. So it's using not only the displacement from the bricks, but also the displacement from the snow. And it's basically in these areas here. Then the strength is how strength this displacement is in, for example, the snow. So it could potentially change and make it stronger and stronger to the point that it just gets above the displacement of the bricks. So this brick stop showing up or it can be really low that the bricks just the brick shows up so basically we are combining between both displacements same thing here i'm just pressing ctrl z so if i push here the mid level now we just have the bricks now we just have the snow same thing here with the scale i just push and now the bricks are really really high and just the bricks are showing up ctrl z to come back to the settings that I had before. And then the color ramp is basically to tighten this up. So in this case, I'm tightening all the white. So it's going to be fully material one or fully material two. That's basically what I'm doing here. If I don't tight with the color ramp, whenever we use that this as our map towards the factor, what is going to happen is that our Texture is going to be basically mixing between them, so showing a little bit of the ones, a little bit of the two, but we don't want that, neither for the colors itself, but also for the displacement. We don't want to mix the displacement, because that, that's going to make things uh, look weak uh, and not really um, sharp. So now let's add the displacement here, and you more or less understand now how this is working. So the, you push here the displacement, and you see. So we have our bricks being up, and we also have our snow going up almost to the same uh, level as the bricks. But for example, we want the snow not to be so strong. So we will come here and basically push it down. But there's a point that we push down so much that the snow takes over everything. So it's a matter of testing, of playing around. We can also try to, let's say, fix this or change this by using the mid level meaning that now the level is lower, now the level is higher. In this case, I didn't want the snow to neither take over and also not to rest just on the bottom of the texture, meaning that it would show up, let's say, here. But if I wanted that, I would just have to play around to tend to the mid-level also of the bricks. So I push the mid-level of the bricks up and now the snow is just on the bottom bottom. You see? just on the bottom of our texture or on the top. But you understand more or less how this is impacting between the combination of both texture. So that's basically it that you need to understand for mixing both. So you are going to be using this. It can be either just this two, okay? The add and multiply, or it can be actually the displacement layer that we had before, same for material two, and we are going to be pushing them together here to create the map of when we show the one or when we show the other. We use the color ramp just to tighten up things a little bit more. You see here, if I don't use the color ramp, we have more like a mix between both. Sometimes it can be the thing that you're looking for, but here you see in the color, we are mixing the snow on top of it. It's almost like we have translucent snow. That's not what I want. I want either one or the other, and of course, a little bit of smoothness in between then that's why it's not super super tight and you can also play with the color ramp to fine tune and get the best results that you want you see here we can also invert and we change so now the snow is only on the top and not really going to the bottom of the material and that's basically it so just downloading the link below this starting material and you should be good to go with this material or any other material so I hope you got something out of it. If you did, please uh, subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you on the next one.